set at the picturesque foothill of the Palani range in a quaint little town, Poddanjatram, home to a varied community of people. ODC, as it fondly called, is well known for its buzzing vegetable and curd market. At the nucleus of all that is CFH, founded in 1955, catering to the health need not only in this community but who resides in far as 200 kilometers away. They stand as a testimony of God's unceasing faithfulness. The 299-bedded multi-speciality hospital with more than 120 doctors on campus serving 1,200 to 1,500 patients a day, providing most affordable medical service as no compromise to the quality. With high inpatient load, fueling this need is the dedicated 150 trained nurses ensuring high quality care in all areas. College of Nursing is a home to more than 200 budding student nurses who are into a rigorous training program striving to educate, learn, practice and deliver care in not only in hospital area but also at community level. I'm a nursing student who recently had this life-changing experience. It was a warm summer day when I first put on my magical community bag on my shoulders. I met this Patima who was well around in her 80s. She had diabetic food ulcer. She looked very frail the first time we met her. Her condition was very bad and, needed, and it needed to be taken care of. We along with the community team started intervening. And as the days went by, with repeated visits, there was a marked improvement. Even though we had to walk door to door during community visits, I really enjoyed doing it. Although outside we are tired, inside we are really eager to meet new people and give our best care possible. I am surprised how we as nursing students are responsible for people in the village. I don't mind going there back just to see her eyes light up. The hospital is a nerve center for all the primary training, learning and hands-on experience. Christian Fellowship Hospital, Potanjatram, is a secondary to tertiary level hospital which is there for the last 67 years. Though we are a secondary to tertiary level hospital, our main focus is on primary care and community health. Our founder, Dr. A.K. Therian, even before 67 years, he used to go to these villages every week and see patients to improve the cleanliness, hygiene of the patient. People in the village was very dear to his heart and over the years our department we have worked with other NGOs to build toilets and also to give health education to the people to use these toilets. And we focus on elimination of diarrheal diseases and give health education on typhoid and other diseases. And community medicine is the backbone of our institution. Nursing students are posted in various seven satellite clinics in and around Odanjatra. Work in the community is to get to the basics and the reality of the situation of the people in their home surroundings with all its physical, environmental and social concerns. The Christian Fellowship Hospital has been working with the community in and around the town of Ottenjatram right from its inception in 1955. Founded by the late Dr. A.K. Tarian who followed his passion to provide medical care for the needy, came to serve a drought-ridden, poverty-stricken area. Understanding well the Chinese pro proverb, go to the people, live with them, learn from them, love them, start with what they know. He with his team did just that, literally living 
learning, loving, starting with what they had. And so it is that work in the community has evolved over the years from tackling severe undernutrition, both of adults and children, handling serious communicable diseases as leprosy, TB, typhoid, cholera, poverty alleviation programs with income generation in the form of buffalo rearing, goat rearing, tailoring in the initial years. Further, moving into working alongside the government programs for TB and HIV AIDS, the emphasis continued to be on educating and empowering those affected. As the hospital grew, work in the community progressed to an exceptional level under Dr. Rajkumar Ramaswamy with a stress on primary care in the villages, training of village level health workers, a sound referral system, training of family medicine practitioners through the national board and training of staff nurses and students. As it stands, now the work in the plains is in mainly five areas. The villages of Satepanur, Gandhinagar, Tumachambati, Nagnambati and Kolapati and a few other areas as Pannepati, Komla Marthapati and the Gypsy Colony. Two of these are part of the urban area just within the town and the others are rural. There is work in the hills, the tribal areas of Pachalur and Kesipati, which is about 30 kilometers away, covering several villages. The team consists of family medicine and community medicine consultants, staff nurses, health workers, family medicine trainee doctors, social workers, school health educators, student nurse trainees, the palliative care team and the ICTC team. The broad areas of work under the community department are the mobile clinics, school health education, care of TB, HIV and the ICTC, palliative care and home care, other social work initiatives like care of the elderly, care of the disabled, alcohol de-addiction programs and community awareness on pollution and waste management. Just 6 km away from Odenjadram is the whimsical village of Kolapati with a tiny population of 2,000. I am a student in Christian Fellowship Hospital. I was so critical about the community posting. I thought it is a field where we should have to spend a lot of energy. But um, I was completely wrong. I never knew that a clinical work at a hospital level can be taken to the village level. As we reached the community centre, I was really surprised to see the number of patients waiting for us. As we entered, we were deployed to assist the rest of the team to, to various training protocols we have received at the mothership. The clinic now was open and was bustling with work even in my peripheral vision. I could see one of my friend running across the room to check the GRBS of a patient who is almost fainted. The team from CF Hospital runs a bi-weekly clinic for our village. Our village people have benefited so much by this. We do not need to go to town for medicine. They provide the best doctors here for treating us. Secondly, care for elder people are given directly to the home. CFH also conducts awareness program by visiting each and every home and explaining to us about the best hygiene practice. We were involved in treating 17 to 18 patients a day, growth monitoring, plant nutrition diet, conduct diabetic camp, give counseling and the most importantly perform activities to maintain environment and personal hygiene. I was really satisfied with the work we do at community health centers. This developing village makes its living primarily by agriculture and animal husbandry. 
Most of the population have completed only middle school. The village has two schools which offer education only till 8th standard. Some of their houses are still touched. The village has a main road which is tarred and proper, but the pocket roads are not tarred and not in a proper condition. The major transportation is public bus. The village has public toilet which was built by the government. Most of the houses have their own water supply which comes from the central supply tank, well and bore well. They use different irrigation methods for farming and agriculture based on the crops like sprinkle irrigation, drip irrigation and sprout irrigation. The various schemes started by the government of India have helped the village in many different ways. As part of this program, in our college also we are implementing lot of activities. Our students are going to the villages, they are teaching poor people or the needy areas by giving health education, how well they can maintain the surrounding, how clean water, how what clean water they have to drink and the pollution control uh, that is actually taught by our students in the villages mainly where the children, the people education is poor. Still we are living in a village. Our priority is imparting knowledge to the village people so that they too also can inculcate these values in their lives. Drinking clean water, maintaining clean surrounding, uh, good sewage disposal and uh, waste management, not throwing the waste here and there. So students are taking really this role and they are taking this important message to our surrounding people, surrounding villages. The occupants of the village are also catching up in practicing how to keep their surroundings clean, proper waste segregation and disposal methods. In such a vast nation with very diversity, teaching and training better ways of life might be close to impossible. But in our experience, we as a community are thrilled in achieving the impossible through a cleaner, greener Indian initiative. Jai Hind!